Hey UTM. This is for all you GPA warriors. Or curious students. As we mentioned in our last video, here's our walkthrough of the GPA calculator. To access a GPA calculator, go to the main page of ACORN, but instead of logging in, click GPA calculator located on the upper toolbar and press the launch button. Or you can visit uft.me slash GPA calculator. These will both take you to the GPA calculator page. As you can see here, the first part says optional, but you will need to fill it in to calculate your cumulative GPA. Make sure the calculations are accurate by logging on to your ACORN account and using your academic history to find your current GPA and count the number of credits completed so far. If you're a first year student, you don't have an academic history yet, so you can go directly to part two. For now, let's say we have a CGPA of 2.74 and 14 credits completed. In part two, Enter the courses you want to include into the calculation. These will be courses that are not already included on your academic record CGPA, such as courses you're currently taking or completed courses in which final grades are not yet released. Make sure that the course weight is correct. Finally, choose your estimated or expected grade for each course. For example, if in Psych 240 you expect to get between a 77 and 79, choose this grade you'll be able to see your sessional GPA here. If you've included your current GPA, your updated CGPA is here. If you didn't include your current GPA and credits in step one, or if you're a first year student, then the sessional GPA and cumulative GPA will reflect the same grade. For our example though, let's keep our current GPA and the credits. Any changes made to the grade section, for example, change the B plus to a B, and you'll be able to see how different grades affect your CGPA, or what grades you'll need to aim for in order to achieve or maintain a certain CGPA. If you're taking more than five courses, you can click and add courses here. You can also add a session to calculate your annual GPA. You can add a prospective course here, make sure the weight is correct, and choose your estimated grade. A new sessional GPA will be calculated an annual GPA will appear as an average for both sessions and your CGPA will reflect accordingly. For example, if you want your CGPA to reach at least a 2.8, you will know you will need to get an A in your course. This is a great way to plan what grades you will need to aim for in your next term. At the bottom of this page, you can also find a list of academic resources available that may be helpful for you or come into the office of the registrar and meet with one of our academic advisors. We hope you found this video useful. Please like, comment, and share our video. We're also waiting to hear from any of you about suggestions for our future videos. Bye! Bye.